Hey everyone, oh my gosh, I always feel like it's been a million years. I hope everyone is enjoying the beautiful summer weather. I know it's a little rainy in Philly, but it's cooling stuff down. So very, very uh, excited to be on here with you guys. So um, for those of you who are feeling like um, you are having trouble finding the right words to express yourself, you're feeling overworked, overwhelmed, exhausted, um, you feel like you're underappreciated at work, you feel like you're on the verge of freaking burnout, right? Here's an exercise that I really think is, I know, would work. And um, so I want to just hop on here, tell you a little bit about that. But before I do that, um, I want to tell you who I am. So if you do not know me, I'm Carly Myers. I'm the founder and coach here at A Piece of Positivity Studios, aka APOP Studios. And what I do is I help people who are no longer happy at work find their joy. And in this case, in this video, we're really talking about burnout, the exhaustion, the feeling like hopelessness, the powerlessness that comes along with having either a boss or a coworker or um, a workload that is just too freaking much. So I know I've talked to you guys about this before, but if you feel like you've talked it all out or you don't have the right words or um, the language of just communicating whatever the heck is going on is too much, it's too heavy, it's too painful, it's too whatever, then it's time to move along to a different exercise, a different modality, you know, whatever that is going to serve you. So maybe language, maybe communicating with your words, like with words, with um, written language is not necessarily your thing. And that's okay. For real use. For me, that's not the case. And I know you would not believe it because I'm so talkative and so, you know, in front of the camera and ready to go. But words don't always work for me. They just don't. And so what I really love to teach is that there's other ways of communicating. There's other ways of working through stuff. There's other ways of getting unstuck in your career, in your life, you know, in your relationships. There's plenty of relationships at work, at home, et cetera, that need some work. I know it. You know it. We all know it. So what I want to recommend for you is going through some of these complex, abstract emotions, the feeling of being stuck, the frustration of feeling like maybe like you're rotting behind a cubicle, um, behind a computer in a cubicle, right? And taking those abstract frustrations out in the form of drawing, in the form of art making. You guys know I'm an artist. Uh, for those of you who have been following me, if you didn't follow me, or if you don't follow me and you just happen to see this video, I'm an artist by training. I went to school for art. It was the one thing that helped me process my own trauma. Hey, Esther. It was the one thing that really worked for me. Went to therapy, went to you know church, read, prayed, the whole nine yards. But the thing that worked for me was a different way of communicating. So if you're feeling like you're about to burn out, if you feel exhausted, you feel overwhelmed, then this might be a way for you to explore how you can get out of that. So really what I recommend and what I, hey Esther, what I would say is a really, really good tool for you to use is getting out a piece of paper, whether it's a notebook, I'm trying to open up my notebook now, like whether it's just a notebook, um, and a pen, or if it's like a canvas and paint, whatever that is for you, getting it out and letting those frustrations just take over, right? So if you are royally pissed off, just scribbling and being like, just letting it all out and expressing the emotions, letting the emotions actually course through you rather than what we tend to do is let them lodge in different places in our body, right? Where we feel it in our throat or we feel it in our, you know, we get the heartburn or the butterflies or the, just the anxiety. We feel it in a certain place in our body. This is going to let the emotions roll through you so that you have a clearer mind. You can move forward. You can either say, this job's not the right job for me. This relationship isn't working with this coworker or, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And you can take bold action without the emotion attached to it. And, you know, I've come to this time and time again. I will let the emotion out, scribble, you know, uh, sometimes I'll take like a piece of wood and hammer it, you know, hit it, hit it with a hammer a bunch of times. And it doesn't have to be a beautiful work of art. It's just about creating something and letting the emotions roll through you. 
And if you are feeling like you've got something to move through you, you've got the anger, you've got the resentment, you've got the disengagement, maybe even at work, the boredom, let's move through that. Let's not let that lodge in your body in a different place and feeling it in your throat or in your stomach or wherever. Let's move it through. And um, I'm really, really excited to tell you guys that I'm, for the first time ever, incorporating art making into a workshop that I'm doing here in Philly. So a little happy dance for the inner artist in me, knowing that this is something that really freaking works and is going to help you get unstuck, let the emotions roll through so that you can step back into your job, you can step back into the relationship, whatever it is, and not be burned out, have a clearer sense of where you need to go. Um, so the workshop is called Avoiding Burnout, an evening of art making to soothe the soul. So I'm going to take you through, you know, we're not going to have to discuss anything. If you don't want to discuss it, verbal is out of here. I mean, I'm going to give you directions. I'm going to guide you through the process, but it's all going to be about processing things in a visual way rather than a linguistic way. So um, it's all about using art making to soothe your soul, to bring you back into the present moment, to bring you back into this abundant mindset. Um, the workshop is this Thursday, um, this Thursday in Old City, Philadelphia at United by Blue. Um, I have a link in the little description here, apopstudios.eventbrite.com. You can go over there um, and grab your ticket. It's Old City, June 7th, that's this Thursday at seven o'clock. Um, it's going to be fun. Materials, I will bring all the materials, so you don't need to worry about that. Um, just be ready to let the emotions roll through you. Let them go so you can let your shoulders down, let the brow unfurrow, and relax for once, right? Relax into the life that you know that you are destined to live. So I just, I just couldn't resist giving you a little sneak preview. If you are feeling stuck, do that drawing exercise. Get the process started. Get, the, get that emotional state out of here, the resentment, the anger, the you know, the disengagement, the board, I'm like, those aren't cool emotions. So let's start that process moving. And uh, I hope to see you guys Thursday because I'm really, really excited. It's going to be really, really freaking awesome. Okay. I love you guys and I will see you soon.